All right, hi everybody. Uh, it's TMV8888 from hookapro.com and the Dondo King. Um, we're doing a review tonight on uh, Social Smoke's Blackberry. And this seems to be a tradition. I keep forgetting to grab the can, so I'm, gonna go get that. <laughs> I'm not going to run into my entertainment center this time. Hmm. Okay. Social smoke, blackberry. Um, initial smell, I kind of just wafted at myself. Smells exactly like blackberry jam. It's a really deep berry scent. Rather yeah. than just like a light blueberry. Yeah, it's, it's really definitely handy. a really good scent. Um, first impulse when I smelt this stuff is like, man, I wish Sosa Smoke would make a peanut butter flavor so I could mix them immediately. But unfortunately, only other less attractive brands make peanut butter flavors. So I can't really mix them. Uh, cut of this stuff, typical Sosa Smoke cut. Uh, no dye pretty moist. Uh, they double bag their stuff now, which I think is pretty cool. It probably keeps it a bit more fresh and keeps the scent locked in a little more. Um, so that's a new thing that they've been doing. I also want to point out that they are very, very generous with their portions uh, because this is probably a little bit more than 100 grams, to be honest. Um, well, let's see. Um, no stems or anything like that, so that's a plus. Uh, I don't really remember why I bought this. I just recently I've been on like a berry kick, and I wanted a good berry flavor, so went ahead and picked this up. And this blueberry Roman. That was that good. Was the best. That was really good. Uh, also, um, my wind cover, I used to have a much bigger wind cover, but this guy had to move out, and, and he took the good wind cover with him, so so I'm stuck with this little one that doesn't really fit, so what we did is we took a two liter, and... I'm genius. Yeah, it was his <laughs> idea. My idea was much worse. No, no one should get credit for it, because it's gonna melt, and things are gonna catch on fire. But, but let me move the camera. How you make a good review? Basically, Sweet we took nice. a Mountain Dew Code Red... <laughs> Uh, two liter and trimmed it and then taped it to our wind cover. Totally safe idea. Yeah. And uh, so that's going to melt and cause all sorts of trouble here in a, in a short amount of time, most likely. Uh, but anyways, yeah, flavor on this stuff. I think it's really accurate to the smell. It's got that same deep berry exhale to it. Yeah, it tastes, really appreciate it. it tastes exactly like it smells. Just like a really, really good blackberry flavor. Which, uh, <clears throat> in my opinion, is kind of hard to come across. The only other blackberry shisha flavor I've ever had anything close to is one of my custom blends that I did for the blend-off, which was banana berry. And one of the flavors in that was blackberry. And I can tell you just from that mix that their blackberry isn't that great. But... <clears throat> this is really good. It's uh, like a nice hearty a social smoke. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a social smoke flavor. What do you expect? With social smoke, I expect fantastic clouds and pretty accurate flavor, and I've not been disappointed by that with any order. No, uh, they always have great clouds. They have great everything, really, and their sessions always last really long. And the uh, the only social smoke flavor I have ever been disappointed in. Uh, well, maybe at first disappointed. In. At first disappointed. Well, no, there, with Tangerine Rush. There's, well, there's been a couple, but definitely. Tangerine Rush grew on me. The one that really yes. disappointed me and still disappoints me to this day as I try it is pomegranate. Oh. Uh, because honestly, it doesn't taste anything like a pomegranate. It actually tastes more like an amaretto type thing, and it smells exactly like amaretto coffee creamer, <laughs> and it smells nothing like a pomegranate. It's not uh, a bad blender. Like I've blended it with like their lime before, and yeah, that was pretty nice, good. But uh, yeah, no. and then Arabian Nights kind of gave off like a weird egg taste at first. It tasted like teriyaki eggs. Yeah, so that was weird. weird. But it ended up being good towards the towards the middle of the session. But I mean, back on topic. Generally, <laughs> social smoke never disappoints us, and once again, this is really good. So, uh, other than that, rating wise, I don't know. Okay. 
As far as berry flavors are concerned, it's really, really accurate. So I'd give it like a a 9 out of 10 on a berry flavor scale, like just berry flavors all competing with each other. But on an overall scale, I'd probably drop that to an 8 just because it's a good flavor. But it's kind of basic. There's not really anything unique about it. Um, and it doesn't like completely blow me away. Uh, and it's it's not quite to the 9 level yet. So I'd give it a solid 8 though. About you? Uh, I don't know. Because, yeah, it's not like the most amazing flavor in the world, but it is really refreshing, which is what I kind of like about it. Yeah, it'd be nice on a hot summer day. I just, and it's, it, like you said, it's really hearty, so. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a It's not like a mellow up. flavor. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to mix it with social smoked peanut butter, so I'm going <laughs> to probably, um, no, <laughs> I'm going to blow up social smoked Facebook. <laughs> I think, and tell them over and over again at least every five minutes or so to make a peanut butter flavor so I can mix it with blackberry and have the perfect peanut butter and jelly equivalent of shisha. Because I only really like blackberry jam. I can't stand anything else on my peanut butter and jellies. But I guess we're going to stop rambling and end the reviews. So that's all we got for you folks tonight. So see you later. <laughs> Peace.